Balinese cat versus Burmese cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Except for coat length, the Siamese and the Balinese are indistinguishable, having a svelte but muscular body with long lines and a wedge-shaped head that is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base and pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. medium size eyes are almond-shaped. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Balinese walk on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, plumed tail that tapers to a fine point. The appearance of the body is softened by a medium-length coat that is fine and silky. It is longest on the plumed tail. The Balinese come in the same point colors as the Siamese, seal, chocolate, blue, and lilac. The eyes are always a deep, vivid blue. The traditional cat association recognizes a Balinese of a different type, one with a more rounded head and body. It also has a fluffier coat that is long over the entire body, unlike the show Balinese, whose coat is longest on the tail. The Burmese are often described as a brick wrapped in silk, a testament to a solid, muscular body. While the original Burmese was a dark solid brown color known as sable, he now comes in other shades as well, including blue, champagne, and platinum. The cats have a compact body with a rounded head, large, expressive eyes in gold or yellow, and medium-sized ears that are rounded at the tips and tilt slightly forward. The coat is short and satiny. The traditional sable is a rich, warm brown, slightly lighter on the underbody. A kitten's coat darkens as it matures. Nose leather and paw pads are brown. A champagne-colored Burmese is a warm honey beige shading to a pale gold tan on the underside. Nose leather is a light warm brown and paw pads are a warm pinkish tan. Blue Burmese have a medium blue coat with a slightly lighter belly. Nose leather and paw pads are slate gray. Platinum Burmese are a pale silvery gray with light fawn undertones and a slightly lighter color on the underbody. The nose leather and paw pads are pretty lavender pink. Some associations permit other colors, including tortoiseshell, lilac, and red. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Siamese and the Balinese might differ in coat length, but beneath the skin they are identical. Balinese are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Balinese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. He is frequently underfoot, so he might not be the best choice for people who are unsteady on their feet or use a walker or cane. A Balinese is perhaps not quite as loud as his relative the Siamese, but he is most definitely just as opinionated. He will tell you exactly what he thinks, and he expects you to pay attention and act on his advice. You can also count on him to tell all the visitors, so be grateful that most people are not conversant in the Balinese language. The Balinese are highly intelligent, agile, and athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys and his body exercise with teaser toys that he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. He likes to play fetch, is willing to walk on a leash, and learns tricks easily. He is also a good trainer himself and may be running your household before you know it. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided that your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. Do not get a Balinese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Balinese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Balinese don't mind staying home during the day while you go off to earn money to buy cat food, but they will expect you to devote time to them when you are at home. It can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. Choose a Balinese if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. The Burmese are energetic and friendly. He has the charm and determination of his Siamese ancestors and enjoys conversation as much as that breed, but his voice is soft and sweet, belying his tendency to run the household with an iron paw sheathed in velvety fur. He is highly intelligent and seeks out human companionship, so he's not best suited to a home where he will be left alone much of the day. If no humans will be around to engage his intellect, be sure he has the company of another pet. He gets along well with other cats and with dogs, but of course, another Burmese will be his best pal. The Burmese are about as curious as cats come. Expect him to explore your home thoroughly and know all of its nooks and crannies. 
he is playful and remains so into adulthood. Tease his clever mind with interactive toys, and teach him tricks that will allow him to show off for an audience. Besides sit, roll over, wave and come, he can learn to fetch a small toy or walk on a leash. With proper early conditioning, car rides and vet visits will be a breeze. A Burmese is a good choice if you don't object to complete loss of privacy. This cat will want to be involved in everything you do, from reading the newspaper and working at the computer to preparing meals and watching television. He will, of course, sleep on the bed with you and may even snuggle under the covers. When you are sitting down, he will be in your lap or right next to you, waiting expectantly to be petted. You will be scolded if you ignore him. Guests will receive his full attention, and it is likely that he will win over even those who claim to dislike cats. A female Burmese is the very definition of queenliness. She likes attention and she likes to be in charge. Males are more restful, satisfied to fill a lap. Whichever you choose, it's likely that you will soon find yourself yearning for another. The fine, silky coat of the Balinese is easily cared for. Comb it once or twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair. A bath is rarely necessary. The soft, short coat of the Burmese is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep Balinese and Burmese as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Balinese and Burmese are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.